So far, this sector has apprehended folks from 41 different countries. Just yesterday, we apprehended 133 people from countries other than Central America and Mexico. That includes individuals from India, Pakistan, China, Romania, Ecuador, Nicaragua, on and on and on. And so uh, I know we keep talking about the family units and unaccompanied children, and that makes up about uh, typically about 60, 70 percent. We've seen a change over the last couple of weeks where that number is less than 50 percent of the apprehensions we make here in South Texas. So South Texas continues to lead the country in apprehensions as well as marijuana seizures in between the ports of entry. For the last five years, we've been the busiest place in both those categories. And this zone is the busiest zone in the country. So they apprehended people from the Middle East, and they do it all the time. You know, everybody says, well, where are they from? So we're not talking about only Mexico. All over the world they come in because it's a weak spot. They make it strong, but the laws have to be strong, and we need, we need security. We need the kind of backup that you want. And they've asked, by the way, we have lists of things. What they need more than anything is the barrier, the wall. Call it whatever you want. Whether it's steel or concrete, you don't care. We need a barrier. Mr. President, we have 55 miles of fencing in this sector. We started a job in 2006. We need to finish that job. We've got the personnel. We need the technology. We need the resources. We need the infrastructure in order to, in, in order to control this border and manage it. Uh, part of our area is covered with some fencing on our east side. That accounts for about 6% of our traffic. Where we have no fencing, over 90% of our traffic occurs in those areas. Okay, folks, I mean, what? you don't have to say any more. That's it. That's it. And we never even spoke before this, right? No, I never sir. told you to say that. No, sir. I should have, except he said it perfectly, all right? <laughs> look, look, this is common sense. They need a barrier. They need a wall. If you don't have it, it's going to be nothing but hard work and grueling problems. And by the way, and death, and death, a lot of death. Mr. Thank President, I appreciate that. That's really good. Thank you very much. Thank you. This is a common sense argument. Now, if for any reason we don't get this going and they're not going to act responsibly and they don't mind death and crime and all of the problems that they cause by not having a barrier, then you will see what happens with national emergency, which I can do very easily. And there's no question it holds up. And it was approved by Congress because the act itself was approved by Congress. I think the Republicans are very happy. I mean, I have two of the most uh, respected senators right behind me. I will tell you, uh, you have you always have a few that feel a little bit differently, but I think we're unified. We had a great meeting yesterday. We had 53 people or close to 53 people, and we used to have 51, and we had a couple that were on the difficult side. We have 53 great senators. I think there's great unity. There's a few that feel, well, maybe we could do it this way or that way. But basically, I think we have far more unity than the Democrats. No, I, that I can't tell you. All I can tell you is that I feel very badly for people that have family members that have been killed that should have never happened, okay? Those are the people I'm thinking most about. 